guys. Uh, so I just want to do a uh, little video um, just talking about uh, this past weekend I went to um, this thing in Portland uh, at the Commonwealth Skate Park. It's called Skate Like a Girl and uh, it's where like all different ages and um, skill levels can go to um, you know the little indoor park and um, have like three coaches there that can help you out like learning stuff and um, just um, it's really cool and I don't get to skate with people um, ever basically um, so it was really neat to be able to like skate around and actually talk to other people let alone like other chicks because I never see other girls skating when I'm out at all unless they're riding like a long board, a long board or something just down the street um, so that was pretty cool um, uh, so what I would want to talk about was that um, so what, the worst thing in skateboarding you could ever do is not fall and like break a bone or hurt yourself worst thing you gotta do is is not try um, not not try to a trick that you know is different to you or something new so I was there I didn't feel like I really you know um, went out of my comfort zone too much um, even though a lot of people there were I I don't know if it was, it was only a week since like I kind of slammed a little bit hard so I don't know if that was something in the back of my mind making it worse but um, um, let's say it was still really fun I just didn't feel like I, I did as much as I could uh, so it's kind of disappointing and um, so when we were leaving they, they did say like you know uh, to get um, a reservation I don't know what you call it um, within like two weeks because it's a once a month deal it, um, there's no more room it fills up so they have to like turn people away I didn't know that um, so I'm probably not going to go for a while for that reason. I feel like there's a lot of other girls out there that could it'd be way more useful for them. Um, there's a lot of people who are so new to skateboarding like they can't even push on it. And I think you know a lot of them could use the help. And they're they're going out there. And a lot of them were just trying new stuff and just falling, and it it was. It's so cool to watch other like girls just trying stuff like that, and uh, just I, I, you know, I regret not doing more. Um, transition is something that it's always kind of terrified me. I didn't grow up with ramps. I only had street stuff, so it's it's really hard to to get over those. <laughs> but um, so what was I saying? So. Just is there any if there's anybody out there that's like new to skateboarding, just well, I just want to say that if it's so much worse to not try it um, and just just not give it a shot at all and instead of trying it and falling, um, I had a video about three weeks ago or so and I was trying no slides and I fell I got a huge bruise on my side, um, but you know what it's just, it hurt. You know, for a little bit after the bruise wasn't that bad. I just couldn't sleep on that side for like four days. What's way worse is not trying because the um, ever since I went to the thing on Sunday, it just bothered the hell out of me that uh, I didn't do more. Because I could have gotten out of my comfort zone a little more, but I didn't. And I was a big baby about it. Uh, so uh, instead of going to that and uh, taking up a spot, this, you know, someone else who could use it, is could go. I'm just gonna work more on the things that you know I should have there, uh, like pumping transition, which uh, I kind of started getting. I did go yesterday morning and try it, and um, I I'm getting there. I just had to go faster, um, and would like to be able to drop in. It terrifies me as soon as I get up there. It's like so scary, and it's I know it's it's not even. <laughs> like big transition just like three or four foot or something like that it's nothing uh, so a lot of stuff I think I just need to work on myself I having somebody there isn't necessarily gonna make me do it more I just need to get over it um, except maybe uh, when I was younger one thing that did work was my older brother uh, calling me like 
I'm not going to say the P word, but uh, call me a, a giant baby essentially over and over again until I got sick of it and would finally do it. Uh, but yeah, I don't have anybody like that right now that can help me out. <laughs> so, but uh, if anyone is on here that like lives near Portland, a uh, woman um, or a girl, little kid, whatever, it doesn't matter. The Skate Like a Girl uh, thing is a once a month deal, Commonwealth Skate Park or Skate Shop. Uh, holds it and it's really cool. If you check out their website and the, all the information is in there and they have uh, they also have like classes and camps and all kinds of stuff. It's super awesome. Uh, all the coaches were super cool. I, I said I, I thought it was great but I'm gonna wait for a while and until I'm ready to like really uh, let go and because I don't want to waste a spot. Um, so just let you guys know, I'm about halfway to 100 followers, and so we're getting close to the giveaway for the skateboard deck. And I should have a, a be um, making a video this weekend. Um, I have an idea, and um, you know I plan on doing stuff that I haven't. So hopefully all that goes well, or I fall. Either one will be great. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and uh, subscribing, commenting, and everything. Uh, it means a lot to me, and I'll see you in the next video.